Alana, as, as a member of the Legislative Assembly, um, I mean, a good bit of our audience is, yes. is American, so yes. would you please explain the differences? Um, we, uh, we don't have two houses, we only have a single house. So it's uh, sort of like a ca combination of senator and re representative. Uh, in Canada, it's a full-time job, and uh, so that's. And I'm also a, a government member, so I'm also part of the government. Okay, yes. what does that mean? I mean, it's a it's a full-time job. I mean, uh, our state representatives here in Washington mm -hmm. State, where I live, is a part-time uh -huh. job. Right. So what does it mean for you as a full-time job? Um, it means that, um, it, it, well, essentially it's full-time. Also, we're paid as full-time members, um, and uh, that's something that, uh, that your, uh, your representatives are a little disadvantaged. With. Okay, so I'll, I'll just come right out and ask, <laughs> is it better? Is your system better than Oh, than it's ours? very different. It's very different. We have, I uh, you know, that. I said better. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, well, I'll part of no there. part of Penwer is to, is to try to get an appreciation for uh, for how different our systems are, mm -hmm. and yet yet very much we're doing the same thing. Yeah. So, what are the advantages, and then what are the disadvantages? Okay. Um, some of the advantages are is that when we have a problem, um, we have a single house that that moves forward and and solves the problem, um, and so we we tend to be a little bit more. Um, well, we, we, we can stay with the electorate a little easier, I guess you could say that. Do you argue as much as we do? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Do and you like each other? <laughs> sometimes and sometimes not. Um, yes. In so. terms of economic <laughs> development, though, because that's what this yes. conference is yes. about as well mm -hmm. as innovation. Yes. Um, is, is innovation and economic development necessarily tied together in the Pacific Northwest? Well, it certainly is in Alberta. Um, the, no. uh, the, uh, the oil industry, which one thinks of as, that's a resource industry, yeah. it's actually a high-tech industry. Really? How so? Abs everything that it does. For, for example, um, in, in the States, you've, uh, you're, suddenly you have a whole pile of natural gas and oil okay, that you are actually producing. Okay, that becomes, that's actually a technological advancement, which I can say comes from Alberta, <laughs> because that, that has to do with directional dr drilling. And to be able to go down thousands of meters into the ground and then turn a, a drill and, and be in exactly the place that you want it to be within, within actually inches of, of where you want to be, um, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's technology. And uh, pretty well every side of, of the oil industry is high tech. Yeah, but any time that you talk about drilling, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a politically charged uh, mm -hmm. uh, environment for sure, and environment mm -hmm. is the right word because yes. the Keystone Pipeline yes. uh, mm -hmm. question here in the United States has been yes. at least temporarily dealt with by mm -hmm. the U.S. Congress. Mm -hmm. I suspect it's going to come back. Mm -hmm. um, is it a controversial issue where you live? It is. It's a, it's a controversial issue, but it's also an issue that the, that the people of Alberta know an awful lot about. For, for instance, the fracking. Mm -hmm. The fracking part of it is something that we've been doing for 50 years. It's not something that, you know, that, that is new to the, to the people. And so, you know, we're, uh, it's, it's something where, where people are, uh, you know, they, they have been educated in and they, they have been used to it. It's, it's been part of our culture for a long time. What are some of the other economic drivers of uh, the Pacific Northwest economic region from Alberta's standpoint? Um, well, the, uh, the oil sands itself is actually the source of an enormous number of jobs mm -hmm. um, in, in the Pacific Northwest. Washington State is one of the biggest, um, uh, the biggest suppliers with, to, the, to, the, uh, to the oil sands mm -hmm. um, in, terms, in terms of the jobs that are created mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it is something that affects everybody around us. If you were to look ahead five years and look at the economic progress that has happened over that five-year period of time, what do you think that it's likely to be? Oh, that's, uh, that is, that's so exciting. You know, to, to me it's so exciting because we're always moving. Um, there is, I don't think that there is one business in Alberta that gets to stay still. Nobody gets to stay still and, and, and still succeed. Is it technology? Is it innovation? Is it all of It's all of, of that. It's all, it's of, that? all of those, yes. Yes, and and you know there's and you know there's there's always you know there's always those fantastic technology ideas, okay? But then there's that whole that whole process of, of taking that technology and bringing it into uh, into an organization, of integrating it 
into society. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, that, that's something that's always happening and always making our, making our world change. Elena, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much. Rainmaker believes we can change the world.